Hello everyone, FFDev here, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up code blocks with uh, SFML, or actually be setting SFML up with code blocks, but let's get into it. This is going to be a no-nonsense guide. I've looked around the internet, and there's not a whole lot of materials which are really good. This should work on Windows, Linux, Mac, whatever you're on without too much effort. So first of all, you're going to search for SFML. I'm just going to search for SFML code blocks on Google. And blah blah blah. It'll take you to this page. But what you want to do here is go to download at the very top. <clears throat> now, after you click on that, you'll see all these versions here. Now, this is important. You see this red right here? It says, unless you're using a newer version of Visual Studio, this doesn't matter. We're not going to be setting up Visual Studio. I have a separate video on that. But for Windows, depending on if you want to do 32 bit, 64 bit, you need to download one of these, and I'll show you how to set that up. I've actually, um, I'll download it for you. Uh, I've actually already downloaded this, and it should just be a folder. I'm going to do the 64 bit, so you'll just click on this, and I'm just going to click on cancel because I've already downloaded that. But after you do that, you will extract the folder, and I'll show you that in a minute. So, depending on if you if you downloaded this, click on here and download the 32-bit one. You're going to download this GCC. This is for Windows. You're going to download this GCC 13.10 MG WDW2 32-bit. So you'll download this one on the left. But if you downloaded the 64-bit, if you're on a 64-bit Windows PC, you'll click on this one here on the right, the GCC 13.1.0. MinGWSEH 64 bit. And you'll download that version of SFML. Now, um, let's see, once you have that, let's see if I can just find code blocks. If you haven't installed it yet, you can click on this. Um, after you're on their website, codeblocks.org, you can click on, let me see where it is. Maybe we'll have to click on downloads. Close off that little ad, download the binary release. Now, what you will do is you can download the MGW setup. It's what I did, and I just downloaded it from SourceForge, but you can download it from FossUp or SourceForge. I, I just use SourceForge.net. After you get that downloaded, you can run the installer, and I'll show you on CodeBlocks where we'll go from here. So I'll just go ahead and close this. So. After you get your code blocks installed, we're going to create a new project. After you get, get code blocks open, create a new project, and we're just going to go to console application. While you might see SFML project here, you don't want to use that because that's really old and outdated. So you'll scroll up to the top here and create console application, C++. And we'll just name it... Uh, Whatever you want, YouTube SFML is what I'm going to name it. Yours should look like this. You shouldn't have to change anything. Click on Finish. On the left-hand side, you'll see Sources and Main.cpp. Now, to see if everything's working right, you can hit Build. And then you can type F9 on your keyboard or go to Build, Build and Run, Hello World. So now that we know CodeBlox is installed right, if you didn't, if you got some errors, it's completely fine. We're going to fix that. We're going to be changing the compiler anyways. So just to uh, get stuff straight, let's first, let's, uh, well, we won't worry about CodeBlox. We'll go to this PC, or actually we'll go to wherever you have your stuff at. I've got my SFML downloaded into a folder here. So this is the version of SFML and I believe I deleted it, actually extracted it. This is the uh, SFML 2.61, the 64-bit MGW. So I extracted, I, I don't need, I'm trying to save space, so I deleted the zip. But anyways, after I extracted it, you will have a folder that looks like this, SFML 2.6.1 Windows GCC, and it'll either be your 64-bit or 32-bit, depending on what you downloaded. So I just have mine in a folder on my hard drive called Game Libs. Just remember where you installed it. 
So for now, I'm just going to leave this folder open to it, which we'll come back to it in a minute. All right. So first things first, this is important to get it installed. Uh, we're going to go ahead and set up our compiler. So after the um, first library you downloaded, the uh, GCC compiler, not the SFML, but the first one I told you to click on up top above SFML, the 32-bit or 64-bit, when you download it, you will extract it. And let's see. After you extracted it, I put mine in my C drive, and I just put it into a folder here called MinGW64. You just have to remember where it's at, so when you open it, you can see all these files. You don't have to do anything particularly with it. But how we're going to set it up with code blocks is we're going to click on Settings at the top, then go to Compiler. And then you should have global compiler settings gear icon checked. And then if you move your mouse over to the right, as I'm doing, you'll see a tab that says Toolchain Executables. You'll click on that. And see right now I don't have my compiler's installation directory set. So instead of auto-detecting, because you might get the wrong one, what we will do is click on these three dots here. Yeah, and I'll navigate to my C drive and where I saved that folder. You don't even have to go completely in the folder. I just found it, my min gw64. Click on it, make sure that's the selected folder here, and just click select folder. Click on OK. And now our compiler should be good. Now if you hit F9, it should build. Should run fine. I'm gonna hit the gear icon and hit F9 and everything. We can see our hello world applications running. Now to installing SFML. Now your project name, wherever it is, it's just a code block symbol and byte. On the left hand side, you right click on it. Scroll down here to where it says build options. Click on that. And this is a very important on this left side where you can see your project name, then debug and release. You'll want to click on the very top where it's the name of your project. So YouTube SFML for me. Then you will. After that's selected, you'll see move your mouse here to where it says search directories. Click on that and make sure you're on compiler here, right where my mouse is at. Now you'll click on add. Click the browse folder. And um, now I'm just going to go to my folder where you downloaded the SFML folder. So SFML, there it is, Windows G66, SFML 2.61. Now you'll click on the include folder one time and then click select. And you, I click on no to not keep this relative path. Um, now move over to the linker tab here. Click on it. Click on add at the bottom. Browse the folder. Now we'll get to the same place. In the SFML folder, except instead of clicking on include, we'll click on lib. And click on select folder and then no again and okay now all we have to do is click on debug here on the left hand side and it will should ask us if we want to apply changes click yes now that debug is selected we will click on search directory or actually we'll click on linker settings here at the top and click on add under link libraries now we will type in sfml graphics dash d like that click on ok then we'll type in sfml dash window dash d then we'll type in sfml dash what is it uh is it system i'm trying to try to remember here i think it is no 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 i will look real quick just so we can figure this out, let's see. Code blocks, SFML. So if you ever need to see, you can. I'm just gonna scroll to this. So we need, yeah, it is system. All right. So SFML 
dash system dash D. And the reason we have it on dash D is because we're under the debug setting. That adds the debug flag to it, and that's what we need for this particular option. Now that we have these added, click on release and then click on yes. We want to apply changes, then click on add here. We'll do the same as we did last time, sfml-graphics. Then you don't have to add nothing after it, OK. Then sfml-window. And then sfml-system. Now that we got that added, we can click on OK. And now we can hit this gear icon. And we got one more thing we got to do before we're done. So now you'll want to go to your PC um, where you saved your SFML. You'll want to actually open it this time. And where it says bin inside your SFML folder, you'll open that up. You'll just select all these folders here. Copy. And then you will find where your projects are saved. For code blocks, it should typically be in the C drive, but I moved mine to my other hard drive, my folder. So it was mine's in the D, code blocks projects. Then you will go to uh, your folder for your project. Mine's YouTube SFML. And it wherever you did your run at for bin, let's see, uh, your bin folder in your project where you see debug. You'll paste those files in there. Now we'll want to leave this open really quickly. We'll just minimize it here. We'll change to release here on your project. Click on build and then build again. Now we'll bring your folder back up. We we'll click back on bin. Now you will see a release folder. Now you'll open your release folder. You'll paste the files in there as well. And now. Let's see if everything went correctly. Change this back to debug. You can just go to Google. This is the easiest way to get the setup project. I just type in SFML code blocks. Click on this link here. And when you scroll down, we should see some example code here. We'll just copy all this. And we'll paste it into our project. I'll make sure that you know we override everything. Now we'll click on build and build. It says no errors and now if we hit F9 or can click on build and go to build and run we can see that our project now works and the solution should be similar but this is for Windows but for Linux and Mac it should work very similar similarly and how I showed how you can select your compiler you downloaded. If anything it should be a little bit easier on Linux and Mac and you shouldn't have that same issue but that's how you can get SFML up and running and I hope this helped you guys this has been a no, no nonsense guide and comment below on anything else you want to see and I hope this helped you get your product your project up and running well thank you guys and I will see you guys later peace out